Hey friends, Steve Guttenberg here. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show, and this is part three of you, of your stuff, of your systems, right here on the Audiophiliac Daily Show. Great stuff came flooding in, way more than I could possibly use, but thanks to everyone who submitted pictures. And because the response is so overwhelming, I will do this again, but not for another month or so. So for now, don't send any more pictures. But let's take a look at this batch, which is freaking amazing. So here they are. Okay, first up, Grimaldo and those low-slung Klipsch Heresy 4 speakers. His amp is a Music Share X5, which he calls amazing. Turntable is an Audio Technica LP120 with an Ortofon 2M red cartridge. Take a look at Robert's system. That is impressive. He lives in Holland and he's heavy into vinyl. So he has a Lin LP12 with a Dynavector DV20XL2 cartridge and a Garrard 401 turntable with an Ortofon mono cartridge, a Lehman Silver Cube phono preamp, along with a Synthesis Roma tube phono preamp. For digital, he has an Esoteric K05X CD player an Accuphase E460 amp, and those big speakers, those are Bowers and Wilkins 800Ds. He has 25,000 records. Rob's system is uh, less involved, but I'm sure it gives him just as much pleasure. He has Kef R7 speakers, a Hagel H190 amp, and a Blue Sound Node 2i streamer. And I have one of those, and I We'll review it very soon. Irsubu, I, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, he has an elegant desktop system with KEF, Q150 speakers with UniQ coaxial drivers, an Emotiva BaseX integrated amp, an iFi Nano iDSD DAC. David's, when I opened David's email and saw those Ohm Walsh speakers, I was, I was in. I was totally right there. They're actually Ohm Walsh 4XO, omnidirectional speakers. But he's also using Allison Acoustics CD7 speakers as surrounds. Check out Nick's system. He's from Greece, and it's a vintage system. And the way he wrote this out is a little confusing, but basically it features a heavily upgraded JBL 5234 active crossover. The preamp is a gas Phaedra. Phono is an EAR834P with a Denon step-up transformer. There's a Crown power amplifier in there, Crown PSA2. The turntable is a Technics BBC SP10 Mark II with a 12-inch arm, with a 12-inch Jelco arm, and a 12-inch Ortofon arm. But the speakers, in case you're wondering, those big things over there, the speakers are JBL 4560 enclosures with JBL drivers and components. Now this one is from Philippe. Philippe is from Belgium, and those are final 1000i electrostatic speakers. I used to sell them uh, a long time ago. They're really, really good. The amplifier, the amplifier is a BC acoustic, EX362D, it's a Class A design. The CD drive is a Cambridge CXC transport. The DAC is a GD Audio NOS19. Turntable is a Rega P3. Oh, and there's also a subwoofer in there, a Magnet New Omega 380. That's a 15 inch sub. Don hails from Louisiana. And he's running a Sony STR7065 receiver hooked up to a set of JBL38 speakers. He's using a Technics SLD2 turntable with a Nagoka MP110H cartridge. And he also has a Sony CDP291 CD player. Johan started his audio file journey in 1980 with a set of B&W DM70s, and then he had 802s, 
But then he landed on these. These are teal CS7s, and they aren't going anywhere. And he has 4,000 CDs and as many LPs. He has a Lin LP12 turntable with an Ortofon Cadenza Black cartridge. He also has a teal smart subwoofer, a KN Phono preamp, a Krell Evolution preamp, a Krell Evolution CD player, and Krell MCX 350 power amps. Those are very heavy <laughs> amplifiers. What we have here is a system from Gregory that features DIY speakers. He didn't make them, but they have 15 inch woofers and open baffle mids and tweeters. The tweeters are made by Focal. There's some acoustic treatment in there that made a huge difference, as big as changing a piece of equipment, according to Gregory. Deckware ZP3 Phono Stage, a Deckware Tory Jr. Power Amp, a VPI Prime Scout Turntable, Jolita Glass FX Tube DAC 3, and an RCAM FMJ CD37 CD player. Euchro Liebert has a lot of room treatment. It's deluxe. It's all out. He did actually go into a lot of detail about it, but you can tell by looking at that picture, there's, that room has been handled. But in terms of the components, he has a PS Audio Direct Stream DAC Junior that he's also using as a preamp with a PS Audio Perfect Wave CD player, PS Audio Stellar 700 monoblocks. Speakers are KEF LS50s, know them and love them, and SVS 4000 subs said sub, so I guess there's two of them. Bob has Gallo Reference 3.5 tower speakers. They're actually very short towers, and they don't have crossovers uh, or ports or anything. They're really, really interesting design. If you ever see a pair of those used, uh, jump on them. As for sources, he's using a Berkeley Audio Design Alpha DAC Reference and a Weiss Engineering JSON Transport. Now for this system, he said his goals were performance, precision, accuracy, clarity, that sort of thing, and he thinks he's hit a bullseye in every category. Elias sent along this picture, I think he sent more pictures, but this was the one I picked, and that big Toshiba PCX12 tape deck, yeah, that's, yeah, if I was going to get back into cassettes, uh, that might be a great place to start. He also has in that picture a Philips CD371 CD player, a Sansui PCX11 PCM, and a Hitachi tuner, and a Sansui tuner. He said, greetings from Germany and stay healthy. Thanks, Elias. Russ is running Klipsch Heresy 3 speakers. He's got a VPI turntable with a Soundsmith Atello cartridge. He's got a Musical Surroundings Phenomena 2 Plus Phono Stage. His amplifier is a Unison Research 300B tube amp. And there's also a PS Audio Sprout 100 in there. And Kimber Cables and PBJ Interconnects. William's got a set of ELAC debut reference speakers a Project RPM3 acrylic turntable with a Sumiko Bluepoint cartridge, a Project 2-box DS with a Muller 12AX7 popped in there, a Marantz HD DAC1 headphone amplifier, a Denon PMA 800NE integrated amplifier, and helping out those uh, debut reference speakers is a Tecton 4-10 subwoofer. Those are big. That about wraps things up for today. What a collection. Thank you so much, you guys. I will be doing more of these uh, Audiophiliac Viewer System slideshows in the future, probably a month from now, month and a half. Uh, this is part three, and I had a great time editing these pictures, picking them out, and of course, I couldn't use everything that was sent in. It was, the response was overwhelming. But again, thanks to everyone who tried. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show, right now coming to you five days a week. If you dig it, please subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up every now and then. I'd appreciate it. And also check out the playlist. There's a playlist for more of these Audiophiliac viewer slideshows. So lots more to see.
You can follow me on Twitter at Audiophiliac Man, on Instagram at Steve.Guttenberg, and best of all, on Patreon at P A T R E O N dot com slash Audiophiliac. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here again very, very soon. Bye bye.